it's uh, it's a wider concept that uh, the uh, IMO launched uh, passenger vessel safety study and uh, safety requirements review back in 2000, and then the uh, main uh, drivers for that were accidents and incidents uh, around the world, and also uh, the concern of the bigger cruise vessels and, and uh, because they were getting bigger and bigger and then the uh, internationally the proactive uh, uh, steps have to be taken to to review whether current uh, regulations are satisfying and then fit for these new vessels and uh, this uh, one one part uh, safe to return to port concept was was a result of that study and basically it means that uh, certain uh, equipment uh, have to be duplicated and uh, there must be extra systems on board uh, to survive a certain scope of uh, damage or whether it's resulting from uh, flooding of sections uh, of vessel or, or the fire damage. And then the, um, the ultimate uh, concept or, or the reason is that uh, that the vessel should be its own best lifeboat and survive certain uh, casualties, uh, still uh, maintain ability to maneuver and, and uh, to uh, return to port with a minimum speed and then uh, have its crew and passengers in, in a safe area on board and not to force them to abandon to smaller rifle rafts and, and uh, lifeboats. Maybe worth mentioning is also that uh, the uh, change in, in uh, concept or also in, in uh, regulatory parties that uh, more emphasis is put in uh, preventive actions and, and uh, to, to uh, prevent the uh, accidents or uh, occurring in, in the first place. Of course uh, there are measures uh, in place and the crews are ready to react uh, uh, for the uh, accidents but, uh, but the emphasis is to prevent them happening.